Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and we continue with my challenge to complete Ark Survival Evolved and Aberration. Now previously we managed to make a journey to what we're going to be setting up as our base location and I'll probably do a little bit of that today or at least get some foundations down but I still don't feel confident enough going around the map with our raptors and we want to tame up lots of dinosaurs so now I'm not sure what killed this trike in this Morella tops but we do have a scorpion over the back here and I'm going to tame this because I need to start concentrating on making some kibble and the scorpion will make regular kibble and we used to have to tame the scorpions up purely just to make rex kibble but of course since they changed all of the tiers of kibble and made it a little bit simpler we can use the scorpion eggs just to make regular kibble. Now I'm going to need that if I need to tame up any frogs or baryonyx. So we've got one, just need to find another one. And of course we can use fertilised eggs to make the kibble from. So we only need two, we don't need to set up a whole farm of them. Now have I got any rotten meat on Nikki here? Just give her another level. And let's just grab that. Okay. Right, I'll just stick these turtles next to each other. I've just grabbed two low level turtles and I didn't find another scorpion around locally, but there's plenty of turtles, so we'll just use them to make the regular kibble from. Uh, I've just set Phil and Nikki off to breed here because raptor eggs will make for simple kibble and well I don't really need much in the way of simple kibble we'll use it for imprinting dinosaurs and I do need to tame up a bee so we could use it for that as well but simple or regular kibble will work for that so I'll just shove a few of the raptor eggs here and we can get at least a few of the basic tiers of kibble on the go and if we get them turtles breeding we'll also get some regular kibble now I think this area will be a really good place to set up a trap and I previously tried to tame a spino and it didn't work the spino managed to escape the trap but I'm sure it's going to work on a much flatter surface so we'll try around here and I'm going to go for the same thing we did before another 3x3 three three. and we'll use the door height frames going up 3 high with a ramp and I think it makes sense to put one round here because this river behind us literally spawns loads of spinos and I'd feel a lot more comfortable running around the map on the back of a decent spino than with the raptor pack and as good as Phil and Nikki have been I'm always wary about getting dismounted by other raptors on this map and they are pretty overpowered when the developers did take away the ability for the raptors to dismount you on the other maps they failed to take it away on aberration so they can't dismount you on a spino. Now let's just get rid of this Sarko because I'm pretty sure that's going to get involved in the fight. And it shouldn't be able to get us inside here so we'll just get rid of that. Let's see what level it was. It's already bloody though so it shouldn't take too many arrows. And there we go, it's only a level 15. So it's a level 70 and we just want to try and get the angle right. I don't want to aggro that bear. Right, let's just sort of shoot it here. Okay, let's see if this works this time. Come on Spino, up the ramp you go. And there we go, we've got it this time. Hopefully, this trap holds out. Perfect. 
and I will use this trap again. Oh, now, I was afraid of that. I think I really need to build the walls four high. But yeah, it started Torpor running and it's escaped. Okay. Well, I can't have many shots left. That's it, you just stay in that corner over there. Okay. Where are you running to now? Yeah, it's still Torpor running. That's the problem with the Spino, you really need to trap them, they're so fast and once they start torpor running, they can be across the, the map. Don't want to shoot the wrong one. Okay, it really can't have many left. Hopefully it doesn't knock out in the water. There we go. Okay, it's down. Right, now, there was an Ovis round the corner here, so we'll just sneak round here and get some mutton for it. And there are plenty of Ovis on the Aberration map, so here it is. So I knew I saw one round here somewhere. And I don't think there's really much need to breed mutton on this map because there is so much Ovis around. Yeah, there we go, we got plenty of raw mutton. Now, I'm far from being able to make some of the top tiers of kibble yet, but a mutton tamed spino will have to do. And it looks like we got another drop here. I'll take advantage of that and craft a load more cryopods. And I've actually got quite a few drops from this drop here which is quite handy. Another reason for setting up here is just to hide from this spino. I don't want to aggro that. But yeah, another good reason for just setting up the base across here is having that drop just there. Managed to hit that one at least three or four times now. Even though this one's only a level 45, if we grabbed it, we could breed with the one we have and keep the baby with the better stats. That way we could have a fully imprinted Spino. So it is only a level 45, but it's a male and we've already got the female just knocked out around the corner. So, hey, let's just do the same thing again. Come this way, Mr. Spino. Okay, now hopefully this one doesn't escape. Okay, the trap worked this time, but I think it would work better if we built the walls four high. Let's just put the rest of the mutton on this one. Not that it really matters. I'm just going to be using that dinosaur to breed with the one we've got. And we'll keep the baby with the mum's stats and not the father's stats. That way we can get a full imprint on it. And again, I know it's not a max level dino, but... We're not in a position to be choosy right now. And I'd feel much more comfortable going around the map on an imprinted Spino. Okay. You just follow me around here. Now, let's just check out what's in this blue drop. But before I grab it, I'm just going to go back to base and grab a load more materials to craft a load of cryopods because I'm going to need them. just yet but we got 70 of 100 so we've got enough time to go and craft a load more cryopods up and this should be just fine left here we've now got the male okay so we're just going to do some simple breeding just here I'm just lighting the fire on the top of Lee gate and shove a couple of these eggs down it should be warm enough to hatch them it is so they're all incubating, so we don't actually need the air conditioners just yet. We will move in forward. Things like the rock drakes and that require cold rather than the heat to be able to hatch. 
So what we will do is we'll just keep one with the mother's stats and try and put a full imprint on. And that should serve us around pretty well getting around the, the map. And I won't be stacking mutations or anything, but just getting that full imprint on the Spino with the better stats will serve us really, really well. It won't be boss fighting material, but it'll work. So we're back and I made a little bit of progress since the last time I hit the record button on here. We've been doing plenty of breeding and we finally got ourselves a decent Spino. But let me show you around at what we've been doing. So of course we've got Phil and Nikki. These were our Raptor pack and as far as Raptors go, they've been pretty effective. And I think on any other map they would actually be a really good pack. But I say, unfortunately, on Aberration, the Raptors can dismount you on another Raptor, so it really does make the other Raptors so overpowered. I've also grabbed a low-level Ravenger. It was just around the corner. It got stuck, so I figured, hey, it was a free dino. We'll use it. If I can find anything a little bit better, it'll be something we can breed with. But let me introduce you to our Spinosaurus, and we're going with the naming rights here. So Delverin... Thank you very much for your support over on Patreon. We managed to get an 89% imprint on our Spino. And I've got a few back here. But this was the one we went with. I don't think I've pumped any stats onto it yet. So we were looking at 3,000 on the health, 350 or 343 on the melee. Nothing too great. But of course, with a full imprint on Delverin, it's going to be pretty useful getting around the map and uh, we're going to go and put some levels on Delver in. Now one of the other things that I'm probably going to cut out here because this is taking me ages to get this lined up is I've put some water pipes down now. They're pretty messy at the moment but I'll just show you down here. I've, I've sort of brought the pipe work along that river and up to the top here because we obviously need some water at our base and I will tidy that up a little bit, but I'm really liking this point. We are pretty protected here. There's a natural walkway up just to this cliff here, and we can see everything. There we go, there's another Spino down there, and I think we stand a really good chance of finding perhaps a good Kakanus or a Spino along this river, but we do have to start somewhere. So I've crafted a load of foundations up. Now, I'm not going to be building a base today, but I do think I need to put some foundations down. I need to get some storage and other things built because as handy as Legate has been, we can only put so much stuff on Legate. So now a lot of people ask me, how do you set up your water pipes? How do you make them all nice and neat and tidy? And well, this is how I do it. I put them underneath the foundations. I do the same thing with the air conditioning where possible. And it's kind of guesswork really. But with all those water pipes underneath here, I'll be able to put crop plots and we can grow our crops that we need to make the kibble with just here. Now, I think I'm going to actually build the base at the back where the dinosaurs are sat, but I want to flatten out this area. And, of course, I'm not quite happy with that sticking out at the moment, but we'll just get some foundations around. I can probably just change that and tidy it up a little bit. And it really doesn't take long to go through these foundations takes forever to craft them but they don't seem to go very far but at least we'll get something started and like I say I'll probably end up putting the main base just above where the dinosaurs are behind me but the surface is quite flat and we'll end up making some sort of greenhouse here and just a storage area Okay, well I'm just out grabbing some levels on Delverin and it looks like we've got some Ravengers here. And a level 130 Ravenger, that would be excellent. 
Okay, I think we're going to go for that one. I've still got the trap from the spinos around the corner, so it should be pretty easy to get it in there. Let's just get rid of this Kakanus. Now you can see the spino makes pretty short work of these dinos. Now, I just want to get rid of the two lower level ones. Let's just drop our inventory. And... It's just got such a wide attack range on the Spino. I don't want to hit the Ravenger we actually want. Okay, that's the 5. Let's just get rid of you. That's the 30. We'll just get this level 130 to follow us towards the trap. Okay, just help it out against these Stegos. Right, come on, follow me. Now that's the one thing with the Ravengers, of course, they've got the bleed. And that slows us down, but it's alright, the trap's just around the corner here. And as long as it keeps attacking Delver in and following us, we should be fine. Alright, let's just try and come up sort of diagonally. Let's see if we can just get it to fall into the trap. If we come over here, it should just fall down. There we go. There we go. We've got it. We've got it. Fantastic. Now, a Ravenger will actually be really handy, and I have got that one sat back at base, so with a second Ravenger, obviously use the stats from this one, but a 130 is the highest Ravenger I've seen since we've started this playthrough. It's pretty much the highest level dino I've actually seen. <laughs> um, apart from Legate, I think Legate was a 130. Okay, I think it's a good idea that we name the Ravenger before we do this. So we've got Meerkat. Thank you very much for the support on Patreon, Meerkat. Really do appreciate it. And of course, we're naming you after the Ravenger. But it gets even better because check this out, guys. We've got a level 145 Spino just opposite our trap. Now, I know I've just imprinted and leveled up Delverin, but I can't turn that down. So we'll just use Meerkat here and... Uh, We'll use Meerkat to drag this Spino into our trap. Now that's double the amount of levels that Delverin had. Because that was just a level 75. So we'll breed Delverin back with this one. And I think that Delverin is already pretty capable of being able to get us around the map at the moment. But... I can't, I can't turn down a level 145. And of course, I'm actually going to change the trap as well. I think it would be a good idea if we stick up some more doors. Let's just get this raptor in here. Ooh. Okay, see, it's so overpowered. It can just take you off your mount. I thought I'd be able to jump over the top, but it doesn't appear we can, and I don't want to risk Meerkat. So my plan was to actually just shoot the Spino and jump off the top of the ramp, but it's actually probably just as well that that Raptor did what it did then, because I don't think Meerkat can make the jump. So let's play it on the safe side. We haven't got any levels on Meerkat yet, and if it falls in here with a Spino, it's definitely going to be dead. But let's just make extra sure that this Spino can't escape and we'll go four walls high. And once we get it in here, I can put another couple of walls just at the top of that ramp. Okay, here goes nothing. Now let's see if this trap really works properly this time. There we go. And just to make extra sure, I'm going to come round and stick 
a couple of more doors up. This way, if it starts talking wrong, it can't get out that way either. Okay. Perfect. So yeah, 145, that's definitely going to be the highest level we've come across so far. Too many left. There we go. Fantastic. Right, let's just run back to base. We need to go and grab some more mutton. And well, of course, that means we're going to be doing some more imprinting and breeding with our spinos, but. I can't turn a level 145 down, especially when that's pretty much double the levels. Okay, let me bring you up to speed on what's been happening over the last day or so, because I've been doing plenty of breeding and I'm probably going to cut most of that stuff out. But we've got Delverin Mark II. So this was bred from the original Delverin and of course the 145 Spino that we managed to get before. but. Delverin is now going to be more than enough to get around all parts of this map. In fact, I'm going to be pretty confident going everywhere on Delverin round here. And, of course, the Ravengers. Now, I probably went a little bit overboard here. We ended up getting three health mutations, one melee and one weight mutation. And uh, we've also got a cool colour mutation on these Ravengers here. The red mutation on the underneath here. And let's just put a, another point onto meerkat now we need to level these creatures up a lot more but i think they're going to be more than enough to be able to get around the fertile zone and i think we'll probably end up tackling one of the caves on the back of meerkat here uh, one of the other things as well i got i managed to get a ramshackle pickaxe which actually dropped in an earthquake and we've also got a long neck rifle here with uh, 240 percent damage on it I haven't actually got enough resources to craft it quite yet. I'm saving up for a industrial forge. And of course we need the chemistry bench. But we now have that blueprint so I'll craft that as soon as we can. And of course I was unaware that items would actually drop during the earthquake. I knew that we would get resources but I didn't know that we would get items as well. But I think we'll leave it on that episode just there. Thank you very much for all of the support. And of course until next time. I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.